So if you follow me on Twitter, you will know that all week I've been looking forward to the Future Stars promo and I've been looking forward to one player in particular. I've been wanting to see a Future Stars Gabriel Martinelli and fortunately EA have included him in this promo and he's been given um, a pretty good card as well. Um, I haven't bought him yet, I'm going to in a moment, I'm just waiting for his price to drop uh, but I thought I'd record this part of the video while um, I wait for his price to drop because... Uh, yeah, I'd try not to play like a ridiculous price for him. Anyway, I want to talk about this card because like I say, I have been super excited for this item all week and it's finally here. But there are some key cons which I have to discuss with you guys already. So um, first of all, it's good to see that he's actually been given a weak foot and skill move upgrade. Now I know 3 star, 3 star isn't ideal, but it's better than the 2 star, 2 star that he actually had initially on his silver item. His in-game stats though, this is where we have some things to discuss. Now don't get me wrong, he has some absolutely awesome attributes on this page. His shooting stats look brilliant, uh, the passing stats don't look too bad either. But um, in that dribbling column, there are two horrific attributes. The guy's got 64 reactions, which really isn't ideal. But um, the stat that I'm most worried about for this card is that composure of just 60. Yeah, in front of goal, when under pressure, I am very worried about this card's ability. So it's definitely going to be interesting to see how much that composure affects this card in game. Because other than the reactions and composure, this card's attributes overall look pretty freaking solid. So uh, yeah, as I said, definitely intrigued to see how this item will perform in matches. I'm hoping it's still going to perform quite well because I want this card in my club for the rest of the Ultimate Team. But um, we'll have to wait and see, I guess. Anyway, I'll be back with you guys in a few moments once I've uh, purchased this card off the market. This video is, of course, sponsored by OneFootball. OneFootball is a free-to-download football news app which can help you keep up to date with the latest happenings in the sport. Um, it's actually been really useful over the past month with the transfer window being open because it provides live updates on transfers and also gives um, some pretty interesting uh, transfer rumour updates as well. You can also use the app to check out stats on your favourite teams or players. For instance, in the background, we've got Martinelli's uh, seasonal stats for your eyes if you want to give the app a go yourself there's a link to download it in the description and once again it is free to download and it's free to use so you may as well give it a go so i've just picked up martinelli for um yeah just over 800,000 coins i'm probably going to lose a lot of coins on this review so if you could leave a like rating on the video that would uh, be quite appreciated and um, also in the comments let me know which other future star videos you want me to do anyway this is the team we're going to be using him in um well Maybe not. I'll be back in a few moments, I guess. Do you remember I said a few moments? Well, um, it's been two hours. The servers have been down that long. Anyway, this is the squad we're going to use Martinelli in. We're going to start him as a left attacking mid, but we're also going to try him out as a striker as well. So after hours of trying, we have finally got into a game and we face this. Um, yeah, 4-2-4 four, four formation. Surely he won't be playing that in game, right? Chance to attack, first touch of the ball, Son plays it through for Martinelli, who's going to get past Kyle Walker, tries to get past Laporte, but Martinelli showing off his freestyle skills, goes for his next shot. That was a really weird shot animation. You see the way the ball travelled. Here's Martinelli, going to try and come inside here. It's such a shame about the skill moves. We go for the shot though, and that's a pretty good finish. Really nice near post finish from Martinelli. Opportunity, Son plays out wide, and he's just found the gap. Martinelli has space to run into. I'm trying to open up for another shot. Oh, we're going to whip it in with the left foot. And oh, Bamiyang's header unfortunately hits Mendy. On the counter-attack we go. He's got a lot of pace about him. Can he get past Hernandez here? He's going to battle up against him. Oh, it's Laporte. He's got round him. Martinelli in a bit of space. We go for the finesse. And that's gone in. He has a really weird finesse shot animation. Okay, half-time comes round. We have ourselves a 2-0 lead. Martinelli getting himself on the score sheet twice. Not a bad first 45, sorry, for the Brazilian. 42nd, 45 though, we are going to be trying him out as a striker. Let's see how he does in that particular role. So, okay, finds Martinelli, who's going to get through a gap. Left foot strike, and there's the hat trick. Not great defence from my opponent, it has to be said. But uh, nonetheless, Martinelli, three goals, not too bad. Pepe, can he slide that ball through for Martinelli? Oh, he can. He's going to get on the end of it, and he's not going to score, unfortunately. 
And there's the full-time whistle. We get ourselves a 5-0 win in Martinelli's debut, and he picks up the match ball um, in debut as well. So a pretty good performance from him. But it has to be said, not the best opposition in this game, unfortunately. We, um, yeah, we made that game look pretty easy and I'm dead honest in these player reviews and uh, as I say my opponent wasn't that great at the game unfortunately so uh, although Martinelli did well to take his chances and um, some of them chances were a bit too easy to come by for my liking. Our next opposition's team looks like this and um, good back line which consists of Eder Militao, Longley and Oblak and uh, a decent attack as well featuring Son and Scream Bernard but um, his team overall isn't too amazing so hopefully we can uh, do some damage in this fixture. Down the left edge once more. He is quick. He is quick. We're going to go for a cross into the box. Can Son get on the end of the line? Oh, he can, but he's hit the post. Once more. We're getting behind. Martinelli, can he keep possession here up against Carvajal? Not quite. Let's go. Let's go, Martinelli. Come on, you got the pace. See you later, Kante. See you later. Get the ball inside with the left foot. Unfortunately blocked. Well, at half time in this game, the score unfortunately is 1 0 to my opponent. It's not been a particularly good half for either side, but uh, hopefully in the second half we can uh, pull this back. Martinelli's going to go up front for uh, the next 45 FIFA minutes. I think Son. He's going to play the ball through. We're going to see if we can get Martinelli on the end of this. We can. He's got a one on one with the keeper. We're going to come inside and go for the finesse, and he's going to score. Nice finish from Martinelli, and it has to be mentioned. That he was under a bit of pressure there. There was defenders around him. His composure didn't seem so bad there. I wish he actually had a proper face scanning game though. That does not look like Martinelli in the slightest. Son plays the ball through. Opportunity. Oh, I wish he had such better skill moves. It would be really useful. Son slides it through. Chance for Martinelli. Cross goal. Shot. Oh, just blocked by Eden Militao there. I feel like that shot was destined to be nestling in the back of the net. Son, Franz Martinelli, chance to win the game, and he's got the goal! In the 85th minute, a really nice finesse shot, hits the back of the net. And we might have just won this game later on. Oh, can we put the icing on the cake here? Pepe puts it through for Martinelli, for the hat-trick, Oh, How have we missed that? How have we missed it? It doesn't matter the game's won, but we really should have got a third there, and we should have got a hat-trick for Martinelli. Ah well, it is what it is, we get the win and that's the most important thing. Two goals from Martinelli in this fixture, but um, it has to be said, Son looks class in this game. Brilliant passing and dribbling from Son, but uh, obviously we're not here to discuss him. So, after a few more matches with Gabriel Martinelli in my team, well his future stars vary in anyway, what are my thoughts on this item? Um, really fun card to be honest, definitely did enjoy using it and obviously some novelty factor does come into that with me being an Arsenal fan but um, nonetheless pretty good card and uh, as I say it is a fun one to use. In game he just feels so quick, he's absolutely rapid and if you watch the clips you'll see that this guy can burn opposition defenders. Um, I thought his dribble in it in game for the most part was outstanding, really good ball control, really good agility and you can definitely feel that when this guy is in possession of the ball in matches. I thought his shooting was really good as well, um, really good shot power, very good for cross goal power shots and also his finishing when in space seems very freaking solid. His passing was alright but just nothing too much to shout about there, crossing is okay, short passing's alright, long passing's a bit meh. That's about it for his passing. Like uh, He's definitely more of a quote-unquote goal-scoring winger than a creative one, so to speak. Um, positionally, how is this guy? Um, doesn't push forward as much as some other attacking wingers due to his medium-medium wear crates, but when he makes attacking runs, they're most part uh, pretty effective. So uh, that's nice to see. Um, physically, how is he? Um, doesn't have the best aggression, but actually does fight for the ball quite a bit, which was very good to see. And also he's got pretty good stamina, so he can uh, be up and down the field for uh, the full 90 minutes if need be. He has got 99 head and accuracy, but for me he just wasn't winning too many aerial battles, so unfortunately I didn't get a chance to uh, take full advantage of that 99 head and accuracy. Now there's one thing left to discuss with this item, and I've left it to last on purpose. I'm of course referring to the composure rating of this card. It's very low for an attacking player. In fact, for a 90 rated card, I doubt there's another player in the game which has this low composure, especially out of the attackers. But um, anyway, is it a big issue? It can be. What I will say is his composure didn't affect him 
as bad as I expected it to initially. In game, he actually feels all right in some pressure situations, but um, in others, he just you can tell he's got low composure. So uh, it's a bit of an inconsistency. So uh, in some occasions, it can be a huge issue. On others, he seems to handle it quite well. So uh, yeah, it's a shame about that because the card is really good. If it had good composure and better reactions, this card could be something really freaking special. But um, nonetheless, a very good card. I just wish the composure and I wish the weak foot was also a bit better on it. But uh, still, very fun item and uh, I'm glad I tried it out. But the main point of the video is, is this card worth picking up? And it is a card that's worth picking up, but not at its current price. It's definitely not a 800k item in my opinion. Uh, for this card to be worth it, it has to drop well below that price tag in my opinion because uh yeah 800k for this card just seems way too steep for me unfortunately but i'm um, definitely going to get this card for my club in the future because i'm an arsenal fan and i want to keep the card but uh unfortunately the, the price tag just isn't warranted in my opinion anyway guys those are my thoughts on the 90 rated future stars gabriel martinelli item i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please do leave a like rating on it um, in the comments, let me know your thoughts on this item. Leave a like on the video if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.